There are many different opinions concerning graffiti in the modern world. These opinions are often perceived to be decided by social grouping such as age and class. In some groups, graffiti is looked upon as a problem and is often referred to as vandalism, which has no positive effect upon society. However, as the world moves on, newer generations are becoming more open-minded and are therefore embracing graffiti as a colourful new artistic genre and perhaps more importantly, a form of human expression. It's also clear that there is a distinct difference in opinion between the effort and talent which goes into wall art and the sheer mindlessness of sprawling Sid Wazir across the side of a bus stop, and rightly so. We took this controversial subject to the streets of Cowley in Oxford, where graffiti plays a major part in urban culture. We then asked the general public of their opinion. how tasteful it is. Most of what goes on down the Cowley Road area I think is a sham. Shambles really. I think it's crude and a bit ugly. Well done but still a bit sort of crude and I like, I like some of it but not all of it. Cowley area there's probably not enough of it. I know there's little projects now and again uh, down by that shop that's just been knocked down. Uh, they were doing graffiti like every month or whatever. It's wicked but you know what it is. Uh, it's something good. Oh, it's like a form of expression really. Um, and also there's quite a lot of bare walls. Um, I don't think... I mean, I'm not sure about tagging, but I think the actual art form itself, like that kind of thing, I think like, I'm all for it, to be honest. No, I think, I mean, a lot of the stuff around here is really good because, like, on the shops over there, just above the sort of shop windows, they've obviously taken a lot of time to do it, and it is an artistic expression. Yeah, it's awesome, you know, because you the streets a bit of colour, a bit of interest. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. I say it's quite good to look at, but the other, the other rubbish the kids put on the wall, don't mean a thing, too much of that. But when it's done properly, it should be good. It seems that the general consensus towards graffiti in Cowley is fairly positive. However, most of Cowley's residents are young, and the majority of graffiti in the area is of an artistic nature. I think we should have more like uh, big walls where you can throw up big pieces. So I, I know a lot of people, if they do good art and it looks good on the walls, it brings the you know, niceness of the area up. It just makes it look good. If you've got good graffiti on the walls, it's not going to be trashy and people are going to like it if it's good. Good graffiti is becoming increasingly accepted as a new artistic genre. A good example of this is the Bristol-born graffiti artist known as Banksy, whose work nowadays sells for many thousands of pounds in different countries across the world. bit of planning, permission and talent, it appears that graffiti can indeed have a positive effect upon society.
Well, it's better if you know if people would let you. Really?